Que tal se profissionalizar e expandir os seus conhecimentos com cursos sobre tecnologia por preços imbatíveis? A nossa curadoria de cursos Udemy tem as melhores opções para você. Saiba mais no link na descrição. Fala aí pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui do canal. Um Dio Linux Entrevista Internacional hoje para você, diretamente com o pessoal da System76, uma das maiores empresas do mundo a vender computadores com Linux. Recentemente eles criaram o Pop OS, uma distribuição Linux baseada no Ubuntu, que também usa Gnome, mas tem várias particularidades para rodar nos computadores que eles criam, que eles desenvolvem, que eles vendem lá no mercado dos Estados Unidos. Como eu tinha várias dúvidas a respeito do Pop OS, eu resolvi entrar em contato com eles para esclarecer essas dúvidas que eu tinha. E gentilmente eles responderam as minhas questões em vídeo. Então nós temos uma espécie de entrevista aqui uh, que você vai poder curtir e saber mais a respeito da System76 e também do Pop OS. Hi Brazil! Vamos <risos> live! Let's do it live. All right. All right, I'm Carl Rochelle, I'm the uh, founder and CEO of System76. This is? Cassidy Blady, I'm a UX architect at System76. All right, and uh, thanks for sending us the questions and uh, the opportunity to uh, talk to you guys. We're really excited that you like Pop! OS, and um, uh, we hope to keep working on making it better and better for you. So uh, we'll start with the first question. I think this is probably a good one for me. It's uh, <laughs> synthesize in a few words what is System76. Uh, what, what System76 is that well, we're, we're a computer manufacturer and, and now we're an operating system vendor. So we develop software and, and hardware products. Uh, we build them. Um, uh, we build them because uh, we believe open source is kind of a, a great socio-economic equalizer for people because computers are so powerful and and, uh, and liberating. That uh, software should be free and in the hands of people. You never know what people might be able to make with it. So, uh, so our manufacturer that believes in the core principles of open source. And uh, delivering that in a package that's uh, that's good looking, works really well, can be uh, uh, is reliable, and um, and hopefully delights our customers. Uh, let's see. With with one word, you could just say freedom. Yes. You know, <laughs> if you yeah. want to go to the extreme other end of that. Answer. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, why did the company uh, decide to stop working directly with Ubuntu and use its own solution, in this case, Pop OS? Um, I think I'll, I'll start this. We can go deeper yeah. into it. Um, the main reason is that as a company we want to provide a holistic experience. Our products aren't just a piece of hardware with an operating system installed on it. So while you can install any distribution on our, on our products, we needed a flagship operating system that was our take on where the operating systems are going and, um, uh, and provide just a, an incredible out-of-box experience that matched from the experience on our website through to receiving the package and opening it to turning the power button on uh, to calling in for support we want each of those things to feel like you're in one holistic matching um, friendly open environment and, and providing the operating system was a major component of that yeah and i think one thing that you can see a lot with pop os with the latest release and like with our packaging and our website is that uh, kate hazen our designer has designed this whole story through the whole process so you from, from it, whether you're installing the OS on your own hardware or you're installing it, you know, uh, you get it with the full disk encryption on, on your System76 hardware. It's got this artwork with this, these robots and spaceships and it kind of travels through this whole story into the app store and everything. And so it's, that's something you wouldn't get if you were just shipping another operating system out of the box. Uh, that's a great point, yeah. You know, as a company, we, we really like telling stories mm -hmm. and now we get to tell a story all the way through, um, uh, all the, way through the operating system. We didn't really have the opportunity before. Uh, let's see, uh, what are the differentials of Pop OS and Legacy Ubuntu? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I turned that off, that's yeah. right. Um, you want to take some of these? Or sure, yeah. Them? So what are the what, what differentiates Pop OS from Ubuntu, basically? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's hard. It's it's because it's definitely like Ubuntu-based, and it's yeah. GNOME shell like Ubuntu, but the look and feel is a huge part of it. So when you again from when you first from when you first start using it, you can tell if there's this this style to it that's just very unique and very feels very System76 and pop pop like. Um, and then we also spend a lot of time with like default apps. So we we decided you know there's these kind of two classes of media apps you can have. There's either library apps or uh, viewer apps, I guess. Yeah. And we really we leaned on the side of viewer apps because people have their library apps that they use on, on different OSs or, or across, you know, no matter what comes on the computer, they're going to install what they want for those. But we wanted the ability to be able to play all this media from the start. So, my phone's ringing, and I tried to cancel it. 
We go back. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> cut here. Cassidy's back, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, you're getting into uh, the difference between library. So what we didn't want to do is put, we wanted a very light feeling operating experience where uh, we provide all the major functionality out of the box, but for the things that you really care about, you would add that on your own. So if you're really into music, then you might need a music library app and mm -hmm. have a huge catalog that you manage the way you do. Uh, or the way that you like to, or if you're into photography and, and photos. Yeah, you're going to have your photo management app that you already use. Or that right. you use. But so, what's important to us is that all those formats will just work out of the box right. and pop open, uh, but not necessarily big, heavy apps. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, other things that differentiate Pop OS and Ubuntu, I think right. uh, there's a lot uh, of the uh, out-of-the-box hardware-related stuff. So um, an example, yeah. I don't know how much I can talk about this, the, the Oryx stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. So, uh, an upcoming product, the, the Oryx Pro, has switchable NVIDIA and Intel graphics. And while there's some work in Ubuntu that you can make that work, we really have the opportunity in Pop! OS to make this work really well. And, you know, we'll, we'll be able to upstream as much of this into the relevant projects as we can, but out of the box, like when you first get your Oryx Pro, it can tell you, hey, your computer has switchable graphics, and here's what that means, and here's how to use it, which is uh, uh, kind of different. It's a first, it's a first for us for right. that hardware hardware specific information in the operating system. Right. Um, and it really it really just makes it feel like a whole considered experience. Right. Uh, yeah, I think uh, to extend on, on that, um, we whenever we send a product to a customer or we have a support case, uh, we always uh, send a survey afterwards. Say, uh, uh, well, uh, there are two questions on there. It's, um, uh, are you satisfied with the experience would you, and would you recommend this to a friend? Yeah. And there's a comment section. So we take every one of those comments and we collect them uh, every month into a report that the entire company shares. Uh, that, uh, that provides us this, this data point to know what things we should invest in for making the operating system better. And it's direct feedback from our customers. Uh, one example is uh, battery life. Uh, customers wanted longer battery life, and so we built a power profile feature. Uh, where from the battery menu in, in Pop! OS, you can choose battery saver, uh, maximum performance, or balanced. Uh, that, was, that came from feedback from our customers. And we're, uh, we're pushing that further and further as we develop more into the operating system. Uh, I think we're only eight months into this, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Eight or nine months, uh, even though it feels like years almost. <laughs> I think it feels like years because we've been doing it a long time. Listening. We've been doing it with Ubuntu and we've been listening yeah. cus to customers and you know, we've been kind of doing as much as we can within the framework of keeping a stock Ubuntu in the past. Um, but now with Pop! OS, that lets, it kind of frees us up a little bit yeah. to, to ship a stock pop experience, which is more tailored to our customers. That's kind of liberating for us. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. When you decided to make your own system, even based on Ubuntu, there was the possibility to use other interfaces even to develop your own. Why did you choose to use GNOME? Uh, you want to take this? Yeah, I think, I think GNOME is kind of the de facto Linux desktop to, you know, today, anyway. Um, you know, there's there's Elementary Pantheon, there's KDE, there are there's like Budgie, and there's other other DEs out there. But it really feels like there's a lot of progress in the direction of GNOME. Um, I mean, and Ubuntu, when they moved from Unity, they decided to adopt GNOME as well. So we're still keeping pretty close to upstream Ubuntu there. Um, I think develop, developing our own DE from scratch would be a huge investment that we. There's not a huge amount of value there instead of building on something that exists. And I think that was probably the best choice yeah. that's out there today. Uh, yeah, and, um, and we, we really love GNOME. Uh, the, the, yeah. uh, the way it's keyboard driven, uh, the way the workspaces work, uh, how uh, you know, activities overview uh, uh, operates, uh, how well search is integrated into the experience. Uh, as soon as, uh, as Canonical and Mark and Ubuntu announced that they weren't going to continue Unity development, uh, we tried all the different desktop environments, and we worked our way through them. And while every every one of them had different characteristics that are uh, you know that are key to their experience, um, we liked the GNOME experience. Uh, at the at the same time, um, we also think it's that, that variety is important, mm -hmm. and that every single desktop environment should just keep going towards you know, developing their vision of the, the desktop. And um, you know, we have our opinion. It's it's why we built it our way, but in in general, just keep making things. Uh, what is the target audience of System76 with Pop! OS? I mean, that's the, the creators, makers, builders, uh, people who use, the way I like to phrase it is, the people who use Linux to get shit done, to get stuff done, to get work yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. You know, and it's, it's people who, that's the best, the best software for them to use. We're just going to make an experience that's just 
the best experience when you're using that software. Right. Yeah, I mean, some examples of how that applies to the operating system is our uh, uh, development tools. Uh, we pay a lot of attention to what versions are in Pop! OS, what versions are available, uh, what, uh, what our customers are using and, and how well they, if they install correctly and work. We, we focus our packaging effort on make sure development tools work really well and that's a reflection of our focus on development and um, creating uh, or using computer to create things. Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, you have improved various details of GNOME Shell from Pop! OS. Uh, the theme, some extensions uh, for power control, for example, App Center. Uh, what can users experience from uh, from future versions and updates of Pop! OS? Uh, the App Center will work with a pay what you want, like elementary OS? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Um, yeah, we, uh, so um, uh, just regard, with regard to uh, App Center, we're, we're probably not going to go that route. Uh, uh, to us, they're, they're, our interest is putting our focus on how people get things out of the operating system. So uh, the best tools to make stuff, to get it out, um, we, we'll, we put less effort on um, encouraging people to make software for the operating system, interestingly enough. Mm -hmm. um, for others? To expect in the uh, yeah. future? Um, uh. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. We kind of yeah. don't know yet. So yeah. a, a big focus of mine is, is uh, talking to our customers and users of Pop! OS. Um, we're actually working on a, a pretty good survey that we're sending out here shortly, um, which we don't want to do, you know, just survey-driven design, because I don't think that's super valuable, but that's a first step in a longer process of talking to our customers, getting feedback both from our support team and from our fans, like in the pop chat online, and really figuring out, you know, how, how they use their computers and, and how we can best uh, improve the experience of them using their computers. So it's, it's hard to say, like, any specific little feature, because it's really well, we're gonna make the experience better. Uh, yeah. And that might look like things like the NVIDIA Intel switcher, that might look like things like Do Not Disturb, like we debuted in 1804. Um, you know, features like that that make people's lives for doing their work better. Okay. Uh, do you intend to sell computers with Linux pre-installed in the Brazilian market? Well, we actually did for quite a few years. Uh, the challenge with shipping internationally and delivering products is, uh, is usually customs and, uh, and taxes. And so while we had shipped for, to Brazil for quite some time, we, we started encountering problems about two years ago. And then about a year ago, we decided that we had to uh, stop shipping because uh, we started losing products in, in customs. Um, it's been a year now, and I don't know if things have changed. If you guys make enough noise, uh, <laughs> we, can, I we can revisit. <laughs> will, uh, I will uh, try to, if you can make enough noise to convince our operations director to look into this again, <laughs> then we will work to get back into the Brazilian market. Right. How is public reception regarding Pop! OS? Well, um, I think from, from what we're seeing, it's, it's very it's positive. It's been good, yeah. 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 Uh, I haven't seen, um, uh, uh, I, there's actually very little um, negative that we've seen. Yeah, um, I mean, you'll, that, you'll get the classic like, why are you doing your own thing? But I, I think yeah. we've talked about that. That's, that's the whole point of open source: is do your own thing, and if other yeah. people value, you know, find value in it, then cool. If not, then cool. Yeah. yeah um, so um, I, the, it's been positive. I guess yeah. The best way to put it is that it's been positive both from our customers choosing it to the response from our customers yeah. using it on their computers. It's positive from community in general, um, and and so positive that we want to keep the investment going and, and continuing to improve the product. All right. Uh, what is the biggest challenge when sell, selling hardware with Linux in the U.S. market? Well, I think the U.S. market part we could probably leave out. There it's are the same just, everywhere. Yeah, it's, <laughs> there's universal challenges. It's just generally challenging. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Yeah, building building um, hardware products is uh, is a, is challenging. Um, it's it's generally um, maintaining our standards while keeping up to pace with everything that's happening in the hardware ecosystem. So we're combining what's happening in Linux with what's happening in in hardware and um, ensuring that everything's working. So some products are, are relatively easy, um, like uh, uh, if they don't have, you know, if they don't, if they don't have uh, uh, switchable graphics or they don't have, uh, or they don't have, uh, uh, you know, backlit keyboards with lots mm -hmm. of different colors. The, the simpler uh, they are, the, the, yeah. sim the simpler they are to make, right. like, and to produce. Uh, but we, we like to add lots of value by, by producing products that are uh, cutting edge, um, and they provide value in their complexity. Uh, so that Inorix is an example of one mm -hmm. that um, requires you know, months of engineering to just to, to 
to really refine it to the point where it's ready to ship. Uh, leave a message for Brazilian fans of Cinema 6 and Pop OS. All right. <laughs> Go out and make stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the reason that we build products is uh, to help people make stuff. And I, I think the very, uh, the most satisfying part about what we do is learning what our products are being used to make. And so even though we can't ship hardware to Brazil right now, um, I hope you download Pop, um, install it, I hope you love it and use it, and whatever you do, um, uh, make something with it. Just, uh, just get out there and create. Yeah. That's it. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye. Muito bem, eu quero agradecer a você que assistiu esse vídeo até o final, quero agradecer ao Cal e ao Cassidy pela entrevista, por terem respondido aí cordialmente as minhas perguntas. E se você tiver interesse a respeito do Pop OS, tem o um link aqui na descrição para você fazer o download da distro e fazer os seus testes aí. Eu acho que é uma distro que tem muito potencial. Há algum tempo atrás eu escrevi um artigo no blog de Linux a respeito do assunto, dizendo por que eu acreditava que o Pop OS poderia ser um sistema com boa prospecção no mercado. Então eu vou deixar aqui na descrição para você dar uma lida também. O que, que você acha? Seria interessante uma review do Pop OS aqui no canal? Fala aí nos comentários. Eu vou ficando por aqui, até uma próxima, um grande abraço, valeu e falou!